there is a two things uh, in this particular uh, session is one is that uh, where we are going to understand that uh, uh, how the nature photography uh, will be uh, taken uh, in terms of the, the wildlife as well as the nature photography wise and the second uh, session will be I mean second part of this particular session is the how the what kind of an images will go in the uh, salon uh, means in nature section so i heartily welcome the kusala for this particular uh, means taking this particular session so welcome and uh, over to kusala thank you good evening friends i am kushal basu first i like to thank uh, lps and miss manushri rai for uh, hosting me in this webinar and also to pixel class for uh, technical support today we will discuss about basically uh, over wildlife photography nature photography is a vast thing it has lot of subsections uh, like wildlife landscape underwater macro etc etc but we will co uh, concentrate mainly on the wildlife section as well as in the second part we will discuss about the shallow photography of wildlife section so everywhere uh, you see lot of stunning photographs in uh, uh internet or in facebook but question is how you can do this uh, th this will uh, i will discuss today our next few slides i will not discuss about the technical sides but mainly on the other things which are not technical but very important in case of wildlife photography firstly photography friendly wildlife parks of india we used to see mainly i i will i will concentrate on indian indian wildlife parks mainly not uh, worldwide actually the, uh, we can see uh, wildlife in the uh, world as well as in india but all of them are not photography friendly i have, uh, i am giving a list of uh, wildlife sanctuaries and national parks which are uh, photography friendly it means that uh, wildlife are accustomed or acquainted with human being long lenses vehicles uh, and other things remaining are infrastructure this one first uh, but this list is not exhaustive i am just giving some examples here bandagod tiger reserve from madhya pradesh for tigers chilka chilka sanctuary as well as mangalajori from orissa daroji bear sanctuary from karnataka uh, black uh, black bear is not uh, very easily available in other sanctuaries in india but in daroji bear sanctuary park you can see it almost uh, 250 300 days in a year so uh, getting of uh, sloth bear is easier in daroji bear park sanctuary jaldapada for uh, famous uh, one horn rhino kajiranga national park run of kutch where you will get the wild asses and other other things like macqueen bustards and others from gujarat tarawa andheri tiger reserve pattekat wildlife uh, wildlife sanctuary from kerala where you will get some uh, western ghat species like uh, sri lankan fog mouth tal chappar tal chappar sanctuary, sanctuary. bharatpur birds famous birdpur sanctuary created by dr salim ali corbett national park gir national park for asian lion kanha national park desert national park where you will get indian bustard and other other other, other uh, predators also and sultanpur bird sanctuary very near to gurugram haryana and uh, moreover there are some some places where you can go for uh, specific species like vietnam in odisha where you will get black bucks 
very uh, uh, for few next few uh, few uh, slides i will discuss about very important uh, things which are not related to any technical sites but very important for uh, your wildlife photography first of all read read and read about the location get everything uh, know about the location where you are going about how you will get books internet newspaper magazines read about the terrain which type of terrain you have to face climate logistics infrastructure park rules never break park rules and i must request one thing to everybody that please photograph ethically don't do anything that is unethical which harms the animals your your photography more important the, the, the well being of the animals become members of wildlife travel and photography forums on the net where you will get the information talk and make friends on the net with other photographers who have been there take vital tips from them their practical experience should be shared spend 30 times the time of a trip on planning plan well before your schedule maybe a six months or eight months even even a year ago plan properly almost all wildlife reserves in the world have a certain peak season of viewing for species or group of species know it otherwise your your money will be wasted is very important thing monitor the weather pattern at your destination it will show up on your images because weather is played a very vital role in your images photographers tend to use the services of a select park guides drivers and etc uh, where uh, where you will get the specific pieces or what uh, when to enter what to enter how to enter it is known to the uh, drivers and park guides who are in and out throughout the year find their names phone numbers and talk to them well before your trip ask about the recent animal movement patterns and what being seen and what area because of the uh, you, you, i am just giving you an example that um, great migration in kenya in masai mara it's happening uh, sometimes in august september uh, they, they come from uh, tanzania and enters in the kenya during this month if you don't know you will get you, you will get the animals wildlife but not the migration so uh, uh, these points are very important next know your pieces this is also very important to get the proper images you, you are not just a tourist you you, you have a lot of requirements like uh, you, you know your basic uh, basis is about what does it eat when where what habitats does it prefer is it afraid of human is it dangerous to be around at how close proximity that is every animal and birds as a safety zone they allow you up to that limit after there either he will in case of uh, big animals they will either they will charge or they will fly away in case of birds is it nocturnal diurnal or both that is means it is a uh, it is a night it is uh, roaming in the night or in the daylight or both when does it mate Mating is a very important uh, thing for a photography. So, when does it mate? Does it move seasonally? If so, to where? Return when? Uh, does it move seasonally means uh, migration and migratory birds we used to see. Uh, th there is a the return migration also. And migration is also happen not in winter. This is also happen in summer. Like uh, Jacobin Kakus used to come in uh, India from uh, long, long away from South Africa in the sum summer. And it is also important what are the typical behavioral pattern, alarm, aggression, etc. Uh, you should know before you move about your species perfectly. Secondly, specify the particular habitat with which some birds and mammals are habituated for nesting and other activities. Some, some birds 
used to uh, used to nest on the tree some are uh, ground or some are in the in the uh, water pond the uh, uh, lily leaves or something like that so you have to know that is what they use many of the birds and mammals are active in early mornings and late evenings like night jar they they, uh, they uh, night jar are active during the uh, evening and in the early morning before the sunset sunrise sorry and similarly you see the ch cheetahs are used used to prey during daytime but leopards are uh, rivers that used to uh, hunt in the night spot out the habitat of the birds who are mostly winter visitors in india try to know their wintering schedules and nature of their habitat as tigers prefer to walk in the sunny morning rhinos and uh, wild buffalo wallow in mud during the summer wild rabbits follow the rain southern ground hornbills are considered as chatok chatok actually we uh, call chatok in bengali the jacobin kakus of india and uh, likewise ah, the uh, uh, next slides are very important getting your basic right actually sometimes you heard that uh, wildlife photography is a very tough thing but not that like not like that it is much easier than uh, inventing a vaccine for covid you keep you uh, get your basics right think about some things uh, you, will, you will get stunning and uh, your pictures will be stand out from the others read your camera manuals 25 times and onwards read your camera manuals thoroughly you must know your you must know your equipment properly ever never never buy or borrow the equipment before your journey two or three or seven days before your journey it will not give you the desired result your money will be wasted you have spent lot of money leaves everything for the uh, for the tour so you must not buy or rent your equipments before uh, before a day or couple of days before your journey keep it in mind never do this it will not give you a sufficient sufficient good result at the field metering modes which meter metering modes you will spot center weighted and matrix focus mode shutter speed aperture and iso you should know your camera uh, camera properly format raw shoot always in raw because it is the only option for the ultimate result raw gives you the best all the colors textures of your image at the price price of a card sd card or cf card is very very little in respect of your tour tour budget so shoot whatever you see and shoot in raw because it will give you total details of data it it records all the data of your images colors and textures and it, moreover it will give you best option for the post processing never never ever do anything else than raw composition is a very important thing Wh what will be a composition fine blend of mechanics and pictorial art ever after all whatever it may be is a wildlife wildlife photography or of a pictorial this is a performing art so it should be looks good and it depends on the composition fine blend of mechanics and pictorial light stabilize your camera and the image this is the most important thing step how you will stabilize your camera either you use tripod monopod or good quality of bin bags filled with pulses or uh, cereals like rice grams etc if if you don't get the scope to use the tripods or bin bag then you have only two options hand handle you have to shoot in handle then you have only the two options first what you will do put uh, put your elbows nearer to the chest breathe, breathe out properly uh, totally and shoot 
and secondly take some natu natural support like uh, like a branch of a tree or a stone or a pole on a boat or on the counter of a boat somehow use uh, stabilize try to stabilize when you are hand hand holding only one word is the most important for a good photographer that is practice practice and practice and practice there is no other alternative than practice go wherever you can no problem if not necessarily that you have to go in a very costly place on in wildlife sanctuary every time you can go anywhere nearby if there are no where to go go to roof or even to balcony or open window but get acquainted and accustomed with your equipment okay but now you uh, i i have already told that it is not a rocket science not a very difficult thing but you keep in mind some things first of all if uh, first of all i i have told you that uh, research this is i have already explained what first of thing secondly think about your light there are three or four types of lights you, you can get in a wildlife condition that is first of all front lighted that is sun is behind you and in this uh, in this situation it, will, uh, it is a good for a portrait shot secondly you can get a side shot a side light in in this case uh, in case of side light you will get a very good textures of of a, of skin like say Uh, like elephant or like rhinos they have very rough skin and with a very good texture in that for for side light you, you can shoot this or at another light is back light where you will you can get the rim light a rim rim light over the border of the body of the animal and have moreover in the mid uh, mid day you will get a overhead light but question is that the which one is the best which one is suited best for a wildlife photography in my opinion i think the mildly overcast uh, mildly overcast uh, uh, sky with sunlight is the best because when uh, when it is mildly overcast the sun rays come through filtered by the cloud it gives you a symmetric balanced light all over the uh, body of the animal no harsh shadow no uh, darkening under the eyes and moreover uh, so it it seems to be best so think about your light conditions and in wildlife eye of eye of the animal is the most vital thing unless and unless until and unless it is very much clear your image will not stand out secondly think about the story think about the storytelling of your image storytelling image is very much important in a wildlife photography you must follow the cubs or interaction interaction between between the same species or a fighting between the different species that always do the, always my, uh, keep in mind the your then next thing you must watch your background it is also important because uh, a cluttered clumsy background or a twig is in front of your image does not uh, does not uh, give you a very good image so uh, if you go three or four years on right uh, right uh, right hand or on the left hand or in front you may get a very good background and always try to shoot if you uh, if you want a mixed completely smooth background you always use your highest aperture that is if you have 2.8 or 
four or five point six. Always use that until and unless you want you uh, you want a good depth of field. If you want depth of uh, good depth of field, th then use uh, say eight or eleven or something like that hi higher uh, f number. And always try to catch from the uh, same level. Of course, where possible. In case of birds, it is not possible definitely to get it in a same level. But otherwise, you try to get it, but not where possible. Not everywhere it is possible. Thirdly, th uh, think uh, uh, and think about the pose. If you spend a good time with a, as a single animal, then he he will accustom or acquainted with you, and he definitely he will give you uh, some pose which looks good. Okay, now let us see some photographs. Then you will understand the point. You just see this. Can you see this? Uh, okay. Uh, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. yes. That, I I told you there about about the research work. Uh, among know, knowing your uh, knowing your faces. I. In this in, in this image, I was in, in a position where I can't see the tiger. Though I know the tiger is in the water hole, but I, I am not getting its its uh, seen. But I know one thing that tiger never comes back. Always he turns, he moves forward, not backward. He never comes out from the water by, by getting it back. It always turn and face. When it comes, this uh, water hole was un under. It is a uh, higher place. So when it uh, emerges from the water, it shows me like that. Uh, I, I told you the, ab about the action, action or the, the yeah, calves. It seems that their 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 parents are cuddling with this uh, his baby. This is a story, I think. I I, I like this pho photograph. Uh, it's a very good storytelling, like human as human parents cuddling their cuddle their um, baby. They are also doing that. This is a uh, blue mint tweed beetles uh, mating shot. I told about the pose when it is a sub adult cup basically. And he ultimately he slept and look at my camera. This is also a pose of a, a black man, black man lion. This is also a habitat shot from from a leopard. You just see it at the time of migration. Uh, yeah, this is caught by the Nile crocodiles in Mara River. By this, you can see this another here, and he's capsing. You just see it how big it can be. It is almost a ton or more weight of this crocodile. This is southern ground hornbill. I, I was, I, I, I was telling beforehand that it is called a uh, Jacobin kaku, like India. When it comes, it it brings rain. They they used to say by the Maasai. You see, this is on on a tree branch. At least uh, three story or four, uh, 30, 40 feet above the above. It's it killed in the night, and now it is having its lunch. You just see this thing. I I I told you about the knowing about your species. This uh, actually any sort of crocodile don't have a tearing teeth. They can tear it like us. They used to keep it and rolled uh, rolled it. It is called death roll. You can see the uh, belly or lower part of a crocodile. It turned it is uh, upside down. This is called death roll. Even with this, uh, a ton of weight, he can do it with uh, 60 times in a minute, even. Just think about the flexibility, uh, the capacity and flexibility, the power of this crocodile. 
this is secretary bird in flight it's uh, it's rare very rare to see it in flying it's like uh, peacock which can fly but not a very long way small you can small now it is flying the secretary bird in flight a, a, a group of wild beast is crossing the mara river and you see uh, here on the left hand side uh, a crocodile is waiting if in any any one of the wild beast get separated from the group he will catch and uh, he already he succeeded you have seen it in the before you see this is a painted stock he uh, catch this uh, fish but it is too big for him he kept it and he is tossing you, you should know actually this is the utility of knowing your paces uh, say like like um, uh, bee eater if you get uh, if you see that bee eater is caught a butterfly or a wasp then you should know it it will toss uh, once or two twice so you uh, when it is, you see this you must get ready for your next shot that desired shot and when you see it that uh, tiger is crawling and crouching back then you can expect it will jump and when you see a tiger is crouching you should wait for your next shot it's yes it is the next shot technical insights let us see some uh, you, I, I think it is clear now take what your meter does this is the question we are talking about uh, matrix center weighted single uh, the short uh, different, different types of metering how they will work what actually what we see uh, what your meter do actually if your subject is light colored it subtracts light always try to make it 18% gray if your light, uh, if your subject is uh, light colored it will subtract the light try to and make it a uh, underexposed and if your is a dark thing if, uh, your your subject is a dark one it add light and make it overexposed always uh, it is natural that you, your uh, your your uh, exposure will not be uh, your subject will not be 18% gain and so you will get not that proper exposure then what we will do you will do that uh, there is a exposure compensation you must do the exposure compensation if you are uh, if your uh, subject is light colored yeah, your meter uh, al al always subtracts the light so what you will do it will uh, plus one to uh, two approximately at that exposure compensation and if your subject is dark one say sloth bear it's a dark one or meter at lights and it makes your images overexposed then what you will do you will uh, exposure compensated by minus one or to minus two it it, it, it differs on your uh, on the situation and light condition definitely but it's natural to, uh, to get the proper exposure but always keep in mind how we do it uh, there is a histogram i think you can see the histogram a histogram will show you the exposure uh, don't stick it to the too much right or too much left if you are right your highlight part will be blown out and if you stick to the left side too much of the histogram your dark part or your shadow parts will be more darker but keep in it mind that if your uh, your part is blown out overexposed part the highlighted part is blown out you will never recover it it is impossible to recover it will all all data will be burned but partially it is more easier to recover the shadow part so 
never never blown out the highlighted part keep it in mind you will never get it recovered the from the burnt highlighted part yes this is very 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 important thing how we will uh, how we will focus we will discuss about focus how we will focus what you, how, how we will set your focus attack ha learn back button focus i'm sorry to say that i don't know anything about canon basically i have never used it what i i, I am telling or i am using i have collected it from uh, internet i don't know anything about basically i must apologize for that i'm sorry but i don't know anything about uh, canon but i i it is obviously it is a very good brand there is no uh, problem about that but i never i don't know because i have never used it nothing else let us talk about back button focus it is a very much important thing accurate focus for both static and action situations how you say you are you are you are, uh, you are going to shoot up deer or a tiger if it is uh, if you are a single uh, single point focus then uh, yeah when you are shooting it um, it starts moving you have to change the settings and then you shoot the um, tiger or, or the deer it in in that period it lifts so accurate focus can be get from both static and action situations more important in static situation that instantly turn into an action situations what i have told you that uh, it is now it is static but next sec second it will starts moving it may be visible focus for our shutter release and switch to a dedicated button on the back of the camera which which camera normally do, uh, do that we half press for focusing then full press for capturing the image okay so in this case what we do this first part that is half pressing for focusing is dis disabled so shutter only captures the images and for focusing we dedicate a button behind the camera only the dedicated button on the back of the camera does focusing the shutter only takes the picture activating the meters activating the metering uh some advanced camera have an auto focus on button that can be used for a back button focusing this is already given some dlrs some dslrs don't have that but we can assign a, a button we normally used to see a ael or auto focus lock buttons and uh, behind the camera Uh, that, that that's something must be somewhere in canon canon also i i can't tell you actually properly uh, but the, 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 there must be someone ha uh, button and program the camera to make this button active focus it is dedicated for auto ael or auto focus l button is dedicated for focusing how, how you uh, now you uh, we change our auto focus mode to continuous for no nikon or servo auto focus for canon and ends of a single shot auto focus with this as long as we are pressing the dedicated button of auto focus on the rear of the camera auto focus system keep on focusing continuous or servo auto focus mode for canon for what we do normally for static subjects simply focus on the eye by pressing the back button just once and then release the shutter till the subject is static it will remain in focus if focus if subject moves press the back button keep the focus at point on eye and track it and be, uh, and go on uh, go on shooting keep it pressed it uh, keep it pressed keep it pressed and go on shooting Hmm. about this is very important for a, a perfect uh, sharp and short ha ah, very very important thing all all of this uh, all 
the things I have already co considered. This is not a very difficult thing. First of thing, you you research, then keep in mind your light. Keep in your keep uh, keep uh, keep the background in consideration. Keep uh, watch for watch for, watch for your uh, pose of the animal, and then what you will do the uh, make it transfer to a auto 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 focus button back button auto focus back button and one thing let the iso be a floating one i make iso a floating one Depend, you may use a fx camera or a dx camera aps-c which we also called in that case considering your body you fix your upper limit of the ISO. Upper limit of the ISO. Why upper limit of the ISO? Because, uh, because you know how uh, in up to what ISO you can get a very usable, usable image. That is no noise will come. Obviously for FX camera, you will, uh, you, you, you have the opportunity to go upward up to 2000 3000 or even more for very costly professional dslrs and uh, and for dx format or crop sensor camera you uh, say up to 800 1200 depending on your body get it floated what will uh, uh, first secondly you, uh, you can shoot in uh, aperture priority mode if, uh, try to use it in uh, highest uh, uh, your aperture like 2.8 or 8 or 5.6 whatever you have if you don't uh, want a very deep uh, very deep depth of field then you have to go for a 11 or more or something like that and okay but what how uh, and uh, now focus point there is a lot of focus points. Uh, is you can see it in Nikon cameras D9, D21, D51, something like that. It is better to keep 9 or 21 uh, uh, focus points. It will do. It will get, even for a uh, birds in flight, you, you can use this sort of uh, focus points. Now, points to be considered. Points to be considered very important. This is also very important thing. Let us discuss. Try to shoot wildlife in its natural environment. There are a few types of uh, uh, photograph you can have it. It depends on the author, what type of photograph you want, actually. So, uh, try to shoot wildlife in its natural habitat watch the background it is already discussed put the put the object apart from the center obviously i i think uh, uh, many of you know about the uh, golden rule we divide we, we divided the the frame uh, to vertical and two horizontal lines the the crossing points of this four lines is called, normally called a golden points. Uh, so, so try, try to put the object apart from the center, that is try to put the uh, subject uh, object on the that uh, golden points and small aperture to ensure depth of fill F8 or more. So, uh, I have already discussed it. Okay, uh, then point may use ND and CP filters where necessary. If it is necessary that you, you have seen that sky is uh, very much harsh and you can use neutral density filters. Or you, you, uh, sometimes you have seen that a sky, uh, there is a, a bit of white clouds in the sky. You want to make it more prominent, make it uh, want to make the uh, sky more bluer then you can use the circular uh, polarizer filter as well 
and use slow shutter speed using low light conditions. Yeah, low light condition, the shutter speed already goes down. So if you, you can use that uh, sort of the artistry photography for, for this low light condition is a low, this is a, a slow moving or something like that. Golden hours, that is the early morning and afternoon light are ideal when light is flat and low with the little contrast. Uh, low, like flat and low means it is come from 30 to 40, 40, 40, uh, 40, uh, 30 to 40, 45 degree angle. It gives a good contrast. It's a little contrast to, uh, and it is a uh, natural catch light. It helps to get you natural catch, catch light on the eyes. This is very important. Catch light gives the life to the eyes of the animal. Use aperture priority and define aperture and select ISO to achieve the desired shutter speed. Now in this position, in this point, you have to uh, consider the algorithms of the camera. Algorithm of the camera. Say you are using a shutter uh, aperture priority. What camera will do? And your, your uh, ISO is floating. Which ISO it will keep? First, uh, you you set the aperture. You set the aperture. Then, uh, then camera will automatically set the shutter speed, and then last comes the ISO. It always tries to keep the lowest ISO. If it is not sufficient for uh, for the uh, shutter speed, then it will go in the higher up. Then is the next step higher. And when it reaches the highest, highest ISO you have fixed, then it will change the shutter speed to a lower one. Is it clear? Okay, then uh, if you, uh, you, you may shoot in, in also a shutter priority mode, then similar thing will happen. Uh, camera will first detect the, uh, define the aperture, then, then ISO. Last priority is ISO. First, it ties with the lowest ISO. Then, uh, if it is not sufficient for that aperture, it will go up, goes up. Then it will uh, uh, then it will change the aperture. If you uh, you can shoot also in manual mode also. If uh, you can shoot in manual mode also, in that case, aperture and uh, aperture and shutter speed both are defined by you. Then camera will uh, then only camera will consider ISO only. If you uh, if you set the uh, aperture, you you set the shutter speed, then ISO will adjust accordingly. at the time of shooting you you should uh, you should also think about images of wildlife reflections there are few options the subject and the reflection both only reflection blood water and still water and sometimes a uh, 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 dry leaves or foliage to give the perspective floating leaves for perspective uh, to uh, better perspective to the viewer Try to shoot from a low angle to get maximum reflection. And similarly, if you want a uh, get a depth of field, use more than f8 or f uh, f8 or more smaller. Smaller means aperture is smaller, not the number. Use slow shutter speed on birds in flight to produce wing blur. Sometimes I I. I prefer this one that we we used to see the uh, animals or birds in three dimension, but camera camera uh, camera uh, sees it in two dimension. Then how you, uh, how that uh, fl uh, flying impact of flying that you, how feel will your spectator your viewer will get the uh, uh, flavor of 
of the flying how will go there if if my personal definitely my personal view that if wings are slightly bored then it will give you a impact of flying and moving of a uh, moving but but in that case also your eye should be tack clear another thing you have to consider when you your birds in flight or different different species of birds have different style speed of flying so uh, you have to consider the shutter speed according to uh, according to that or not only that whether birds is moving from left to right of you of the author or the photographer from left to right or coming coming head on to the photographer depending on all this you have to you have to calculate the shutter speed always always keep the focus on face or eye but uh, it's difficult definitely difficult uh, i actually if it is if it is a small bird you can you can uh, keep the focus on body or head but in case of la large size of birds like uh, some eagles koshalda hello koshalda hello koshalda manachi hello koshalda mic is going off is something your voice is coming very no okay 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 thank you okay uh, okay uh, always now it's uh, okay Uh, yes, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Always keep uh, try, uh, try to keep the focus on face and eye, because uh, if it is a small bird, then on face or head it will it will entirely cover the uh, entire body of the bird. But if it is a large bird, uh, say, say like imperial eagle or uh, or, or other big size bird, yeah. Uh, if you focus it on the bo body or on the head it may be the case your uh, eyes eyes may, may not be in focus uh, may not be sharp rather when you are using a slow shutter speed try to use tripod monopod or bin bag okay uh, choose a dslr that is good in low light that is high is whose high high, uh, high iso performance is good Use a DSLR means that is uh, whose high ISO performance is good. Obviously, you will use high ISO in a low light condition. Preferably, FX DL, uh, DSLR. It produces less noise in high ISO. Obviously, uh, in FX camera, its sensor size is large, so uh, it it uh, it creates it creates less noise in high ISO. and i have already uh, said that shoot in raw always okay yeah, but i i i must i i have intentionally left one point that is lens this is a very dicey place actually uh, lens with a large aperture for utilization of low light condition yes definitely f4 or uh, uh, 2.8 is a uh, good lens but it uh, but it will uh, uh, bomb shell for your pocket uh, uh, say like a uh, nikon 600 f4 or uh, 800 f4 is more than uh, costlier than a honda city car so uh, definitely it is very costly obviously uh, and normally which we use actually uh, uh nikon uh, nikon 200 500 zoom with f f, f 5.6 and now nikon has uh, marketed a 500 lens uh, 500 prime lens with f 5.6 which is uh, round about 2.5 lakhs round about and uh, lighter than the or original f4 nikon 500 so lens uh, definitely 
with the large aperture lens 2.8 f4 or something like this better but this is very costly so i have left the point intentionally use a camera so, support kushalda sorry to interrupt uh, ha, ha, Kusunda, ha, i have please. one question uh, yes. regarding uh, how we can utilize the extend uh, extender you can say that that uh, because we can i have the 300 mm lens now i am using the 1.4x extender so in that situation how uh, what kind of a yeah, uh, what, what much, you uh, mean by uh, uh, tc uh, tc extender means tc yes correct yeah yeah tc yeah. actually uh, you, you will, will uh, please uh, okay thank you uh, actually uh, if uh, tc with zoom lens is not uh, recommendable but in uh, case of prime lenses you can use it you will uh, more or less for 1.4 tc you will lost to uh, two step of f number that yeah is, actually that yeah, yeah that's true so i am using the 300 millimeter prime that for f41 f41 using F4. yeah then i am using the tc of 1.4 so it's around 5.6 5.6 or 8 or something like that yeah so um, no, i'm just asking that how, what kind of uh, kind of a aperture should be i should use the while uh, shooting the uh, bird photography or kind of a, a static uh, like a, a tiger photographs so is there anything you would you would like no, to no, the, the, I, 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 nobody can uh, nobody can suggest you like that aperture it depends it depends on the light condition uh, depending on your light you can uh, you have to select the aperture either you select the uh, if you left uh, if you shoot in a aperture priority mode then you select the aperture uh, seeing the condition as as the metering uh, yeah, either you have to co compensate compensate it uh, 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 there is no thumb rule for uh, aperture actually okay thank you okay let us see some uh, photographs please now okay this uh, this is uh, this is a photograph from um, Masai Mara. You can see actually this is a um, uh, migration is going on last year. You know, millions. Uh, this is the uh, uh, savanna uh, grassland. It's a very typical type of uh, Masai Mara landscape. They are going to uh, towards the Mara River actually. This is another uh, natural habitat shot. <laughs> Koshalda, yeah. one, one question. One question is from Ashokda. That is for wildlife. Aperture shall not be too large. Is it right, Koshalda? Too uh, large means uh, aperture size or the number. No. Ashokda, please unmute un un yourself. Dada. Huh? For wildlife photography, actually. Uh, uh, what we originally uh, see that uh, there is a fantastic environment with the wildlife. Yes. A cheetah is running, uh, a tiger is eating. So aperture uh, value is very important here. So that I can capture the environment. So I think the aperture number should not be uh, too low so that the no, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Also, I, I understand. No, the, uh, also, I have already told if you want the depth of field for a larger depth of field, you definitely not use the uh, uh, higher, higher uh, F number. Uh, if you want the background to be blurred, then you will uh, uh, use the 2.8, 5.6, or uh, whatever your low, uh, low, uh, low, uh, highest aperture. Otherwise, if you want a depth of field, definitely you will use before 8 or 8, 11 uh, or more like that. Right, 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 right. Right. You, yes. can see, yes. the, you can see the grasses behind it. 
or in the pvs pvs yes you see that the last last uh, will be is also in focus uh, the tree acacia tree is also in focus if i use the uh, 2.8 probably it is shoot by uh, uh, 7200 f 2.8 if i shoot it in uh, 2.8 i i will never get this uh, horizon uh, clear can you please mention that the, the if number of this image no i i will let you know uh, later on i will check the exit and then i will tell you You just see what I have told you. The source pattern. This is uh, this is wild abyss is running, and I uh, this is a slant. Actually, this uh, terrain is slant. I I can state it, but I have never uh, I have intentionally not done this statement because this uh, terrain is all uh, a slant. Slow is going through a uh, slope. It is handheld panning. Uh, you can use a there is a equipment called uh, pan head. You can also use a pan head for uh, panning also. It is definitely it will help for panning. This but this is handheld. I don't have so much of equipments. You just see the reflection. The ripples and uh, water droplets are. Yes, what I was telling about you this uh, the wing blasts. You just see this is uh, this is the uh, egret in a in a breeding plumage. You have seen this green part on his face. This means it is in a uh, breeding plumage. Normally, in other times, it is uh, shot in February, uh, March, April in the uh, this year. If you get if you see the other times, you will not get this green part. You just see the blood, blood. Uh, um. Okay, this is all for today's general general uh, wildlife photography. Among the uh, here is a lot of people who are uh, participating in uh, salon photography. I think. Let us discuss about this. Is a very uh, nowadays. This is very. Dis uh, which called the restricted sections and very controversial too. Let us discuss. First of all, nature definition. Nature photography is restricted to use of the photographic process to depict all branches of natural history except anthropology and archaeology in such a fashion that a well-informed person will be able to identify the subject material and certify the honest presentation. Achha, first of all, I, I must uh, mention one thing that this is a, uh, the, uh, I have taken all this definitions and other things from the Photographic Society of America's Guide for Nature Photography Judges. Not is mine. Hmm. Okay, but I will discuss this. This is authentic and this is uh, followed in the uh, salon photography. At least tend to follow. While uh, actually there is a uh, there is a big difference between nature definition and wildlife definition. O of course, uh, in wildlife definition, uh, all the points in nature definition includes, but images entered in wildlife sections meeting the nature photography definition above are further defined as one or more extent zoological or botanical organism and free and un unrestrained in a natural or adapted habitat. Okay. Uh, first, uh, uh, sorry. Okay, first of all, adapted habitat, natural or adapted habitat. Uh, adapted habitat means the uh, say yeah, it is it is a uh, wild wild species, and you bring it from one place to another. Uh, you uh, you might have uh, read it a few a few months back. That cheetah from Africa, 
are uh, are uh, seems to bring in India and uh, put it in in the wild. This is the adopted habitat. But uh, cheetah cheetah is a uh, wild wild species, not a uh, not not a pet or domesticated animal. So it is the adopted habitat. Nature definition also excludes some types of plants and animals. The, those those uh, animals or plants were created by humans, hybrids that have not occurred naturally. Like uh, 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 the tigons, litigons, they are not. They are they are created in in the captive situation or a geological gardens, or which exist in their present form because of the human intervention, cultivated plants. Or domestic animals or mounted specimens. Okay, say the, uh, any, any horses are not included in nature section except the Mongolian horses. Even even uh, there is uh, there is a uh, in USA there there is a horse called Mustang. They, the U.S. people used to call it a wild, but this is not actually wild. It is come with the uh, with the uh, Spanish Spaniards. When they left, they uh, they leave the uh, the horses in the wild, and they became wild. But it is not its its origin is not a domestic uh, is domestic, so it is not a uh, wild animal. Uh, say pumas, sorry, sorry, llamas, sorry, sorry, not pumas, llamas, alpacas, any camels, it may be bacterian or normal one hump. A horse, any sort of horses except Mongolian horses are not considered, but zebra, it is also of that, that group, and kiangs. Kiang, that is uh, wild asses available in Ladakh, or uh, uh, wild asses from a little run of Koch. They are, they are uh, included in the nature photography. Uh, say some flowers like rose. It is very difficult to very difficult for a jury member to identify. A, a wild rose and and a planted rose, so it's better to avoid. Nature definition allows images of landscapes and ge uh, ge geologic formations. Acceptable subject include landscapes. Obviously, another thing is that nature definition all uh, in nature uh, always human human created or human presence is avoided, not allowed. It may be. Road, maybe wire fencings. There, there is some exceptions. I, I'll come on later on. But in general, in landscape, yeah, human elements or 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 uh, camels in uh, landscape like in Ladakh, it's avoidable, not allowed. Waves, rivers, lakes, waterfalls, volcanoes, lava, boiling mud pools, and geysers, minerals and natural form crystals. These are all included. Say a rainbow is allowed, but uh, say a tsunami photograph of tsunami is allowed, but the devastation by the tsunami of a human um, human building or uh, something like that is not allowed. Keep it in mind. Natural forces and weather phenomena, atmospheric and weather phenomena. Including rainbows, lightning, cloud formation, aurora, extreme weather events such as heavy seas, floods, uh, dust storms, cyclones, tornadoes, and water earthquakes and tsunamis, rain, snow, or hell. These are all. Uh, yeah, nature definition also allows the scientific bands and rings. Hello. <laughs> Ah. Ah. Suppose, suppose we find a rainbow in a seashore, 
but one boat is visible you no, said no, negligible no, no. yes no 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 not at all because it is not a, a not a automatic part of the uh, uh, nature shot if you get a barn owl in the in a house in a whole of a uh, uh, old house it is allowable because uh, barn owl used to stay at uh, at the uh, near to the human habitat then it is allowed which is automatic part and parcel of the nature that is allowable but when you are getting a rainbow and there is a uh, boat below it it is not allowable it is not the natural part of uh, nature even wildlife even when when it is a section of wildlife even the tire marks on the uh, path you, you know the like a wooden path or causeways uh, yeah, even that that tire marks are not allowed in uh, in wildlife any the view that any evidence of the hand of man should disqualify an image in a nature comp uh, competition is not appropriate ha uh, what tagging scientific bands and radio collars and uh, are allowed one wildlife are allowed and where where you will uh, where you will allow a human human um, uh, things say the uh, ostrich used to used to make nest on the uh, light post high mass light post or uh, electrical light uh, electrical posts that is allowed <coughs> or you, uh, you you are seeing uh, a uh, osprey or something or a, any sort of that uh, raptors is a hawaii uh, chappal in a in a nest that is allowable actually when the human elements are integral parts of the nature story and more 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 important most important thing nature image must tell a story without uh, nature when a nature uh, nature image is judged there are two main thing uh, which i used to see that it must have a story and a high quality of technical uh, high technical qualities it may be a very good very uh, good technically among it is sharp it is uh, well well balanced its composition is perfectly all right but there is no story say uh, some tigers or uh, say leave it not tigers Uh, let us not discuss about the uh, carnivores uh, say uh, some deers are sitting uh, here and there okay this is perfectly all right the composition is good uh, uh, sharp everything is okay but there is no coherence between between the three or four uh, four deers there uh, in the uh, in the image they are looking uh, some someone is looking at left someone is looking at right someone is looking at you but there is no storytelling they are simply sitting that that image lacks the storytelling effect it is which is very important in case of nature photography okay actually uh, two things we, uh, we we and all of you who will be become a now be judge or will become a judge in future must consider one thing that we must give more priority or marks to a uh, sto story of a nature picture than its pictorial uh, uh, pictorial impact and obviously okay and uh, uh, 
the you see you see the nature definition requires image to be a high technical quality therefore it is fundamental requirement technical issues in the nature photographs can be minimized photographers need to ensure that images are correctly exposed in focus suitably sharp have correct color production unless they are gray scale monochrome and do not suffer any serious technical deficiencies such as excessive noise or excessive sharpness which i uh, which we normally see in the nature it's better to keep up to that level don't uh, make it too much sharpening you have the scope you know know the photoshop and you uh, you are uh, go, uh, going on uh, sharpening it do, don't do that it will not uh, uh, carry the marks okay uh, which uh, which one is allowed actually you can you can do crops you can do cropping you can you can sharpen it up to a certain limit <clears throat> you can expose our color, color balance contrast dodging burning sharpening noise reduction conversion of gray scale monochrome uh, straightening and resizing these are allowed so you can remove small elements that were not part of the original scene <clears throat> that is spots caused by a dust on a digital sensor you can use hdr uh, but combine images uh, you can use hdr but to a some extent focus stacking is allowed but not stitching stacking what we stack use stack <coughs> what what normally stacking is used is in case of macro photography you you can see lot of images uh, in macro photography from uh, head to uh, head to tip all the all the part of a, a small uh, fly or any yes is in focus that is stacking but when you see uh, in uh, night trail the circular all the uh, elements are circular it is not a stacking it is it is a stitching and uh, most important thing please keep in mind the following image editing techniques are not allowed any form of manipulation that alters the truth of the photographic statement cloning blurring the background to obscure elements in the original scene you, you are you can see the uh, light uh, or there is a building or something of a, a post you just simply uh, post uh, in post processing you you have blurred it this is not allowed adding a vignetting or original produced by the camera if it is done originally by the camera how it can be done if you use a very uh, very 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 wide uh, lenses then there is a tendency of be uh, becoming vignet in the corners that is allowed but to make the center object prominent you cannot vignet artificially you uh, adding texture or artistic filters you cannot apply filters of course after at the time of post processing not in the original replacing the image elements say you uh, you, uh, you capture the image which has a very uh, dull sky you uh, you have a uh, gallery of skies you uh, choose one and put it that is not allowed combining images by stitching story storytelling is very important if, if, uh, if just if, just a bird is flying it ca carries low marks but when the bird is uh, carrying a nesting material or ca carrying a kill will definitely definitely uh, get higher marks and moreover keep it in mind aerial photography is not allowed 
uh, any sort of aerial, uh, say drone photography, not allowed as per definition. And uh, well, secondly, in case of nesting photographs, nesting it, it is clearly mentioned that you will not be uh, how good it is, but you will never get high marks or awarded. It is clearly mentioned. Nature photography is not. recommended uh, in nature photography nesting feeding that that uh, distract the 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 birds is not allowed basically not encouraged because if uh, whatever human present distract or disturb the birds they may leave may leave the nest and leaving the chicks there and they, they will die. You, you will indirectly causing the death or endangering a species. So it is not uh, not recommended, or you will never get awarded for that uh, beautiful, so called beautiful nesting or feeding. Infrared images are also not allowed. And all the allowed adjustment must appear natural. Natural to whom? To the jury member. No techniques that add, re relocate, replace, or remove pictorial elements except by cropping are permitted. You can only allow it to uh, crop. Uh, it is clearly mentioned you always keep uh, first of all you always shoot ethically should always ethically never break rules and keep it in mind that will be better for the future of the art that the welfare of the subject is more important than the photograph you have no right to destroy a thesis for the sake of photography. That's why the practice of such a baiting of subject with a living creature and removal of birds from nets for the purpose of obtaining a photograph are highly unethical. And such photographs are not allowed in nature competitions. You, you should know you will never get an award for such of such for images. You never get an award. The wealth always keep in mind. You can and moreover, one thing, it is my personal opinion, you, you people may differ that do nature, love the nature and do the nature for glory. Don't go for the awards of the distinction if if you love the nature automatically you will get the better picture better images and you will be awarded always think about the welfare of the pieces anything else manashi do you have anything to know Any yes dada Yes, uh, one well. question is there from uh, Orko Goswami. Okay. Parakit, parakit meeting allowed. Parakit. Yes, uh, parakit meeting is allowed in. Uh, it depends on the uh, uh, atmosphere. If it is, uh, if you see that there is a uh, net behind it, then it will be not allowed. It may be that case that there is a uh, bit. It is looks if it is looks natural, then obviously it is allowed. Okay. Among more of us, uh, think one th uh, one 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 point that uh, judges are also human. They used to see our image for three to four seconds. Basically, they get the uh, get get the time to watch a 
image for three to four seconds. So they have, they may misjudge. Then, then don't think that that doesn't know anything. Have all the next question. Shubhankar Bharti, I am very confused about nature photography. Shubhankar, can you make the thing clear? What is your confusion? Shubhankar, please unmute. Yes, yes. Ha, please. Do. Shubhankar, what is your question exactly? Every time I'm very confused about nature photography, where, uh, which photography we are submitted in the salon. Can there, there is a clear definition, right? Ajay, there there is is any, anybody who don't understand Bengali? Manasi? Uh, you, you please carry on in Bengali if, if I get some uh, message in chat. Then I will let okay. you know. Okay, okay. Yes, tell me. Are you confused? 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 Okay. But seta jodi akibare storytelling yeta na tha ke. Yeh ebar chobi kano cancel hoche eta hote pare je je bolab storytelling impact. Main dooto jinis dakha hai nature photography khetre. Arki at least seera koi lekha ache. Ami bolte parbo na ami onto to dekhi arki. Eta generalize kora uchit na. Seta hoche ekta jinis hoche ta storytelling impact. Okay. Ar, se, ar chhe, je, high technical quality. A duto hole mutobi uh, acceptance patch in a in a hour cotton. Okay. The apni etai de kunje kunjagata komo chapniki kono club a bilong current. Yes, oh, I'm a LPS, I'm a club. Oh, acha. Tale abbi manusike dakan. Okay. হ্যাঁ তাহলে আপনি কিন্তু মানসিকে দেখাতে পারেন দাল দেখিয়ে বা যদি আপনি মানসিকে দিলে আপনি আমাকে দিলে আমিও আপনাকে আই আমার জ্ঞান বুদ্ধি অনুযায়ী আই এম নট এ পণ্ডিত ইন দিস রেসপেক্ট डेफिनेटলি হ্যাঁ আমার হাত কুক নলেজ স্টিল আই ক্যান ট্রাই টু হেল্প ইউ ওকে কোশলদার রোটেশন ইজ দা রোটেশন অ্যালাউড নো ফ্লিপিং Flip kora. Na, jaman ye je panning ta chilo. Hmm. Ha. To hoy panning ta thami jee horizon ta ke straight kori. Is it allowed? Ha, it is allowed. Is it allowed? Okay. Because na, ami ami straight ta kori ni ei karon ne je ota chilo hoy rakom ota ota chilo hoy rakom. That's different. Actually, ha. Um, ha, in ha, many ha, cases, amar amar bote boshe jako maximum birding achcha bhi ani chhoy bote boshe. Ha, ha, that is allowed. This is uh, actually you are either you are straightening or it is by cropping. This is allowed. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Are... Uh, I have two questions. Yeah. Sir, I have two questions. Hello. Hello, Bolun, Funchi. Uh, uh, when I uh, shoot gangetic dolphin, uh, 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 যে তুলছেন তার কিন্তু ন্যাচার তার কিন্তু এই যে আপনার ফিশিং নেটস বা নোকো আসছে সেটা কিন্তু এর অটোমেটিক ইনক্লুশন নয় যেমন ধরুন আপনি যে একটা সারস ক্রেন তুলছেন সারস ক্রেন আপনি একটু ইউপি মধ্যপ্রদেশের ইন্টেরিয়রে গেলেই দেখবেন চাষের ক্ষেতের পাশে রয়েছে ধান ক্ষেতের ভিতরে ডিম পাড়ে 
সেটা ওটা ওটা ন্যাচারাল হ্যাবিটেট সেটা কিন্তু অটোমেটিক্যালি হিউম্যান এলিমেন্টসটা প্রেজেন্ট হচ্ছে কিন্তু গ্যাঞ্জেটিক ডলফিনের ইয়েটা আপনার নেট বা ইয়েটা অটোমেটিক ওটা ওর হ্যাবিটেটের ভিতর পড়ছে না সো ইট ইজ নট অ্যালাউড ওকে হ্যালো স্যার আমি সরব বলছি হ্যালো বলছি আমি ইন কেস ধরুন একটা পাহাড়ে যদি আমি ফটোশুট করি এবার সেখানে ধরুন আমার তিন চারটি পাহাড় রয়েছে যে কোনো একটা পাহাড়ে আমার ধরুন লাইট পড়েছে সানলাইটটা পড়েছে এবার সেক্ষেত্রে আমার তো বাদ বাকি তিনটে পাহাড়ও নিতে হবে প্লাস আমার মেন ওই লাইটটা মানে যে পাহাড়ের উপর পড়ছে সেটা আমার হচ্ছে মেন টার্গেট থাকছে সেক্ষেত্রে আমি কোন মিটারিং ইউজ করব স্মার্ট মিটারিং না ইয়ে বাদ বাকি যে দুটো মিটারিং আছে তার মধ্যে কোন মিটারিং बेटार তাহলে সবকিছু ইয়েতে এসে চলে আসবে কারণ সেক্ষেত্রে পার্টিকুলার পিকও আসছে বা বাকি ও আসছে হ্যাঁ তার কারণ হচ্ছে কি যে এই যে ধরো সে ধরুন কি যে তিনটে পিক রয়েছে তিনটে পিক কিন্তু सेम প্লেনে নেই না না অ্যাপারেল দেখে দেখে মনে হচ্ছে এটা তিনটে सेम প্লেনে রয়েছে কিন্তু অ্যাকচুয়ালি এটা सेम প্লেনে নেই মেবি ইন এ টু অর থ্রি অর ফোর ফোর প্লেনস আলাদা डिफरेंट প্লেনস হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ অবশ্যই डेफिनेटলি তাই আছে मन मोटाम कम संगे स्पेशल हिमालय मैं गाचर छाय 
তো সেই ক্ষেত্রে হরিণের তো কোনো অ্যাক্টিভিটি সেই হতে নেই তার একসঙ্গে পরপর একটা লেয়ারের মতো তৈরি করে গেছে তো সেই ক্ষেত্রে কি আমরা ওটাকে ওয়াইল্ড লাইফে যাবে না যদি একদম ওয়াইল্ড লাইফের সমস্ত রকম কেন যাবে না যদি না ধরুন পেছন দিকে দেখা যাচ্ছে যে দূরে নেট দেখা যাচ্ছে বাঘ চিড়াখানার মধ্যে এটা আমি কিছুক্ষণ আগেও মানুষ কথা বলছি চিড়াখানার মধ্যে একটা কুমির আছে আর কুমিরের উপরে ছোট ছোট বাচ্চা গুলো আছে আমি শুধু বুকের অঞ্চলটা ছবি তুলেছি যেখানে সেক্ষেত্রে যেটা বলতে চাইছি আমি সেটা হলো কি যে ধরুন একটা 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 আপনি এমনি বাঘের পোর্ট্রেট দিলেন সেটা যত মাস্ক ক্যারি করবে কিন্তু বাঘটার মুখে যদি একটা কিল থাকে সেটা অনেক বেশি সেম মুখটাই দিচ্ছেন আপনি অনলি অনলি ফেস কিন্তু অনেক বেশি নাম্বার ক্যারি করবে সিমিলারলি আপনার এই কুমিরের ক্ষেত্রেও তাই হবে কুমির যদি দেখা যায় কুমিরের বাচ্চাগুলো মুখের ভেতর রয়েছে দিদি আমি চুপ করবো বলো 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 লোকে বলে সবে শঙ্খ লেগেছে গ্রামগঞ্জে দেখবে আবার গামছা ফেলে দেয় যে প্যারাকিট মেপিং কি অ্যালাউড 
कम्पालसारि If you okay. knows the rule, then uh, then you can only break yeah. it. Yeah, okay. Definitely. एबांग इटा तो देखून इटा तो एक ता creative art. After all, अपना अपना के लोग के देखा था वे छोभी गुलो. एबांग छोभी गुलो अपना देख बे कारा. Yeah. Definitely दो तो category of लोग देख बे. एक ता जे connoisseurs जरा सब बोझे. कम्पोजिशनल टाइम टेस्टेड ग्रामर चोखाटे प्रश्न छवि देखिए जिज्ञेस कर लिखा कटा लोक आज चोक घुर ग्राफर मत घिची सबजेक्ट पुट कर रुलिंग उल्लेखा नहीं 
have to follow the uh, rule of third. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Manoshiba Koshal da permission dila me two minutes to this supplement korte bari vishayta. Definitely. Always welcome. Manoshi. Please. फटोग्राफी जब रूल नटनलि फटोग्राफी रूल जेको आर्ट मीडिया रूल कर ताजमहल डिस्टार्ब करते फटोग्राफी रूल रूल जो ने डिविसने हारिएिटी फटोग्राफी सब समय जार्नलिजम क्षेत्र हाई टेक्निकल क्वालिटी क्षेत्र इन्सिडेंट and simultaneously we managed to keep the technical perfection in the image But high te high technical quality should be maintained otherwise no scope right i right, right. i i should be uh, i uh, should be perfectly clear catch the catch light should be natural catch light not you are putting on the post processing yes that's right this is question the next question ah uh, sure animals and uh, this is question from anjan mondol ha uh. animals standing or coming to me through the forest path which road is used to safari is allowed for nature section in salon yes uh, that uh, causeway type to 
যদি হয় তাহলে ইন দ্যাট কেস নেচারে অ্যালাউড কিন্তু বাট ইফ ইট ইজ ইন ওয়াইল্ড লাইফ সেকশন দেন ইট ইজ নট অ্যালাউড ইভেন ইন ইন ওয়াইল্ড লাইফ সেকশন দ্য টায়ার মার্কস অন দ্য রোডস ইজ নট অ্যালাউড যেখানে এমনি মাটিতে একটু নুন বেশি থাকে সেখানে এসে হাতিরা বা অনেক জন্তু যেন আর চাটে করার জন্য তো এটা যদি দেখা যেহেতু লোকে ছবি টবি তুলতে পারে লোকে যাতে ওয়াইল্ড লাইফ টা দেখতে পারে তো এই ক্ষেত্রে যেটা ব্যাপার যেটা হলো যে এটা যদি বোঝা না যায় चारे মডিফায়েড হ্যাবিটেড ইট ইজ এ পার্ট অফ মডিফায়েড হ্যাবিটেড কিন্তু এটা মডিফায়েড হ্যাবিটেড বোঝা যাচ্ছে যে সমস্ত ধরো প্রচুর জায়গায় ভারতবর্ষের প্রচুর ওয়াইল্ড আর কি ন্যাশনাল পার্কস এর গরমকালে সাতচল্লিশ আটচল্লিশ পঞ্চাশ ডিগ্রি করে টেম্পারেচার হয় সেইখানে ট্যাঙ্ক ফরেস্ট ডিপার্টমেন্ট থেকে ট্যাঙ্কার ঢুকিয়ে জল দেওয়া হয় তো সেইগুলো যেটা হয় কি বলতো সেইগুলো খোঁড়া সেগুলো তো ডেফিনেটলি একটা বল শেপ করে খোঁড়া তার ভেতরে ট্যাঙ্কার ঢুকিয়ে জলটা ভরে দিয়ে আসে কিন্তু সেটার কি হয় সেগুলো পাড়গুলো বাঁধানো নয় যে মুহূর্তে তোমার পাড় বাঁধানো হবে বা ধরো পাড় বাঁধালো কি করলো যে পাথর দিয়ে একটা আনইভেন টাইপ কিছু একটা করে দিল তাহলে ঠিক আছে কিন্তু যে মুহূর্তটা বোঝা যাবে সে মুহূর্তে কিন্তু ওটা আর চলবে না ইট ইজ বিকজ ইট ইজ নট এ ইন্টিগ্রাল পার্ট অফ দ্য নেচার ক্ষেত্রে কি হয় মাঝখানে একটা হয় চার পাশে কতগুলো হয় তো সেইগুলো প্রতিটাই হচ্ছে আপনার ফোকাস পয়েন্ট এবার যদি কোন কারণে আপনার মাঝখানটাতে ফোকাস মিসও করে তাহলে কিন্তু এইগুলো যদি কোনো না কোনো একটাতে পড়বেই সেখানে যদি আমি স্পট মিটারিং টা ইউজ করি সেখানে কিন্তু পাখিটার সার্পনেস টা কিন্তু যেন মনে হয় খানিকটা বেটার হয় আর কি এবং সেখানে যদি সিঙ্গেল ফোকাস ইউজ করি যখন মুভ না সেক্ষেত্রে 
সব সময় অটো ফোকাস কন্টিনিউয়াসলি রাখবেন আপনি যদি ওয়াইল্ড লাইফ ফুলতে কত অটো ফোকাস কন্টিনিউয়াসলি রাখবেন কারণ যে পাখিটা এই মুহূর্তে বসে আছে বা যে ওয়াইল্ড অ্যানিমালটা এই মুহূর্তে বসে আছে পরের মুহূর্তে সেটা মুভ করবে ইউ উইল নেভার গেট দ্যাট টাইম টু চেঞ্জ ইওর সেটিংস অফ এন্ড অন ঠিক আছে আপনি অনেক শর্ট মিস করবেন ইন দ্যাট কেস ঠিক আছে কোসলা ধন্যবাদ নেক্সট কোশ্চেন সৌমদ বাসু which is most important composition or grammar or story in wildlife photography what is the question obviously storytelling impact it is uh, everything is important the most important is storytelling impact but it does mean je esha hoye gelo ha yes kashal please continue ha storytelling impact chobir tar bhitore ekta life niye ashe গ্রামার বলতে আপনি কি বোঝাতে চাইছেন গ্রামার মানে কি কম্পোজিশন কম্পোজিশন ইজ এ কম্বিনেশন অফ মেকানিক্স এন্ড ফাইন আর্টস সমদিত সমদিত কি প্লিজ আনমিউট এন্ড আস্ক ইয়ার কোশ্চেন ক্লিয়ারলি আচ্ছা আমার মাই ডাউট ইজ রিগার্ডিং স্যার হুইচ ইজ মোর ইম্পর্টেন্ট definitely storytelling is important rule of thirds and all golden points and all those things of the composition of the story say sin i i already told that uh, rule of third is important because you should know the rule but it is not a mandatory you can break the rule if you know the rules properly karon just for breaking the rules you you, you are uh, diverting it not that if breaking the rule or de- deviation from the rule of third gives a additional something to the image you are always free to do that there is no such uh, uh, hard and fast or statutory that you have to follow the uh, rule of third but you have to justify or you have to add some additional uh, thing which will make your image more attractive by breaking the rule we used okay. to make it square photographs there is no problem at all next question obviously storytelling uh, composition uh, another one thing you grammar composition um, with the image is carry less marks than a grammar composition and storytelling impact image thank you welcome next question is from uh, shubir bhattacharya you uh, there any shubhida hello ইন্টারন্যাশনাল ইন্ডিয়ান ইট ইস নাও ইট ইস restricted to 1920 by uh, 1080 pixels but uh, it may be 1024 by 768 pixels also mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, but in case of a fia for fip salons and circuits in india it is now it is restricted to 1920 by uh, 100 uh, 1080 but one thing is uh, i i like to mention to with the that one side should be fo- uh, should follow this uh, it not necessarily all the all the images you submit is okay. 920 uh, 1000 1920 by uh, 1080 just one side should be uh, uh, should <laughs> must be uh, of that size it may be uh, 1920 in the longer side but height is uh, say 938 it will uh, it is allowed thank you 300 dpi or 70 dpi uh, in india it is for 300 dpi mm-hmm. because uh, for uh, if uh, it is it is asked because for the uh, um, exhibition if it's uh, somebody some organizer go for uh, printed exhibition then it is uh, Ah. Uh, I think I think we should uh, 
হ্যালো হ্যাঁ বলো অশোক তো হ্যাঁ অশোক বলছি আমার মনে হয় এই নিয়মটা ফলো করা বেটার যে গেট ইউর ইমেজেস ফ্রম ইউর এসডি কার্ড টু ইউর পিসি তারপরে যা এডিট করা দরকার করুন যে সাইজ এসছে সেই সাইজটাকে টিফ বা পিএসডি সেভ করুন যে সেল অর্গানাইজেশন যে পাবলিশিং হাউস যে সাইজ চাইছেন সেই সাইজটাকে রিসাইজ করে পাঠিয়ে দিন এক্স্যাক্টলি অ্যাজ অ্যাজ সাজেস্টেড বাই অসো ইট ইজ करेक्ट গেট প্লিজ ডাউনলোড দা ইমেজেস আফটার এ ট্রিপ অর সামথিং লাইক দ্যাট ইট ইওর পিসি এন্ড কিপ ইট টু অর থ্রি কপিজ অফ র ইমেজেস not edited raw images uh, in hard disks or in uh, if uh, somebody uh, uh, keep it cloud or somewhere else keep the raw images and when it is required to edit get the uh, uh, get the copy of the raw image make the post processing save the uh, save the image in a tif form tif of uh, or something like that high high quality na ki eta bole रिक्ट your uh, raw never do anything over the raw images always keep it aside never touch it if uh, i am telling is this because sometimes it is called for the raw images by the organization uh, not only not only in alone yeah for psa or the organization have the every right to ask for the raw images unedited jpeg or raw images so if you don't do it you may face, face the consequence so leave the raw images even for the competitions uh, uh, in the, say in india tjs mpc if you awarded in djs mpc then they will uh, then they will ask for the raw images after verification of the raw images they will award uh, they, they will confer the award to you otherwise not so never touch raw images C- get it copied edit it and keep it in a tif format that is in a large format it has it has many utilities say uh, sometimes uh, organizer asks for a big size for print exhibitions then you, you will make that tip in the right that size copy that in that size send it it may be 5 to double zero or something like that ponoro da size bodo oi rama kichu eta ache pixel e patao othoba 19 ja bolche 1024 by 768 or 1920180 pixel যেটা বলবে সেরকম টিপটাকে কপি করে সেই মতন রিসার্চ করে সেন্ড ইট কিন্তু নেভার টাচ র ফাইল আচ্ছা কোশল দা আমি ওই একটা মাস্টার ফাইল করে দিই সে একটা ছবির নাম হচ্ছে লায়ন হোয়াট এভার বেবি তাজমহল ওটা ব্যাচ দিয়ে মাস্টার ফাইল করে রাখলাম করে সেইটাকে এবার ওই সালোনে মানে পার্সপেক্টিভ জায়গায় কপি করে সেই ফাইল নামটা এটা হওয়া ওই মাস্টারটাকে খালি তুলে দিলাম দিয়ে ওটা রিসার্চ করলাম পাঠিয়ে দিলাম সো দ্যাট যদি কখনো প্রিন্ট সালো নয় তখন সেই মাস্টারটাকে আমি টেনে আবার রিসার্চ করে পাঠিয়ে দেব না মাস্টার ফাইল মানে আপনি সেভ করছেন কি সে আমি তো এনি আমাদের র ফাইল থাকছে জেপিজি ফাইলটা হচ্ছে থাকছে না জেপিজি তে গন্ডগোল যেটা হচ্ছে আপনার আপনি যদি বড় জেপিজি করে রাখেন তাহলে ঠিক আছে হ্যাঁ 5000 6000 এর डाटा 
বিভিন্ন রকম সাইজ করছেন এবার ধরুন আপনি এটা উনিশশো কুড়ি তে করেছিলেন তারপর সেটাকে আপনি হাজার চব্বিশে কনভার্ট করলেন প্রতিবার এই যে করছেন না এটা প্রতিবারে এবং আপনি যদি ছোট থেকে বড় যদি করেন তাহলে তো গেল কারণ আপনি যদি তিনশো ডিপিআই এর উপরে যে বেশি একবারে বাড়ান তাহলে কিন্তু হিউজ লস আচ্ছা তাহলে মাস্টার ফাইলটা টিআইএফ এই সেভ করে রাখাটা সেভ আর রাখলেন তো ভালো কথা টিপে রাখলেন রটাকে সেপারেট রাখলেন রটাকে রটাকে কপি করে নিয়ে এসে কাজ করলেন করে টিপে সেভ করে রাখলেন অ্যাজ এন্ড হোয়েন রিকোয়ার্ড আপনি ফাইলটাকে জেপিজি বলুন স্যার I don't think we don't have any more questions in chat, no. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Koshalda, and thank you all. Thank you. Good night. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you, Koshalda. Thank you. And we promise from LPS and that um, every month we are going to organize some webinar. Uh, thank you, thank thank you for being with us. Thank you. and we will let you know thank you good night for conducting conducting a wonderful session thank you everyone okay we are leaving and thank you, you will get the thank recorded you. version thanks okay. welcome good night good night good night all